Do you ever wonder why you always see YouTube videos about the success that people are seeing or the stories of the 20 year old dropout who now has a successful, let's say SMA business or a successful real estate business or how some people could figure out how to flip homes and yet 99% of people can't or how kids on the internet can figure out how to get huge followings and yet even people like me struggle to find the voice that could yield that many followers. But see, the difference between me and most people is I understand my strengths. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you this one mindset, and it's not a trick. It's literally just how you should be thinking. And if you can change the mindset of how you used to think to thinking like this, and especially because my audience, a lot of them are in the SMA world, then you're gonna be able to basically write your own checks. This isn't about tactics. This isn't about finding the secret or what YouTube videos you should watch. This is literally the simplest thing you can do, but yet the hardest. And it's not gonna take me a long time to explain it, but I do wanna lay the foundation of exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if you're in the SMA world, it's just an easier topic for me to talk about, and it's business in general. Typically, the successes that you see are shared all over the place, right? It could be anywhere from free content from the latest guru to tips and tricks from the oldest gurus, right? Uh, it could be how to capitalize on chat GPT and how to implement it into your business. It doesn't matter because the truth of the matter is, is that most people will fail because they don't understand this. And to continue on this foundation, uh, I see a lot of, in the SMA world, gurus sharing the, the Facebook ads that they run, sharing you know, how they run their business, their automations, and everything in between, and yet, people still struggle. Now, how is it possible that the world is shown how to succeed, and yet, the 1% will always be the 1%? There will always be new people coming into it, into that 1%, but they all have something extremely important in common. And so when you ask yourself, you know, how is it possible that I know what Facebook ads to run for a med spa client, for example, but yet when I run them, they don't work? How is it that I know what kind of guarantee I should give for a local business to get them to want to hire me? But yet when I try, I fail. And here is the easiest, most simple way to change and understand and be self-aware of the actions that you're actually taking. And it goes like this. 99% of people aren't willing to go through the struggle that is necessary to become the person worthy of success. And instead of me just saying that, I'm going to share with you exactly what I mean. So if you just go onto YouTube and you type in SMA or SAS or whatever, uh, and you look at, you know, some of the gurus out there, right? Some of them are giving everything away for free. But the essential piece of the puzzle is that most people don't have the, as we say in Italian, the gazones, they don't have the gazones to go through the embarrassing portion of starting a business. They don't want to mess up the conversation. They aren't willing to put themselves on the line. They aren't willing to promise a result that they don't know if they can get yet. And so if you want to know how people become successful in any business, it's about the offer. It's not about anything else other than the offer. And so the person who has the best offer and is willing to pay the most for a client are always going to be the successes you see all over YouTube. For example, if I would give you the secret sauce, and by the way, this is real life examples, okay? I've worked with coaches 
who've paid me five figures to literally work with them for 10 weeks, one-on-one. And the failures happened because they weren't willing to create an offer that makes them uncomfortable. And in the SMA world, if you are willing to say, hey, I guarantee you five clients or your money back and I'll give you an extra thousand dollars, that is a great offer, but you're never going to do it because you don't know yet and are not confident enough yet to offer something like that. So then what is the answer to that? Free work. And if you are willing to do to change your offer to say, hey, I am willing to do X, Y, and Z for free. No money out of pocket. I'll even pay for the ads. And I'll do that until I find a winning offer for you, my client. And then we can either do one or two things. We can continue down the road and you can give me a great case study or we can can uh, we can continue down the road and you can pay me X, Y, and Z. See, in the beginning of starting any business, you have got to eat crow. And it's a lot easier for people who don't have bills to pay, the family on the line, you know, got to bring home the bacon, you know, and that's why you do see a lot of the younger generation really take off in an easier manner than people who have more responsibilities. And that is just a fact. And so if you want to break through the chains of being average, then you need to do above average things. And that means doing things that make you feel uncomfortable in the sense of I am literally willing to eat crow and do free stuff for people until I prove to them and myself that I can actually create an irresistible offer for said niche or various niches and do it in a way where I know that I am going to succeed with that offer. Meaning if I work for med spas and I'm willing to do free work for one or two med spas and I now know that I can easily get five to 10 new patients for a med spa, no matter what I do because I became good at it. And by the way, and that's with if you take a funnel from somebody else and you just run it in your local area and then you can go three towns down, three towns left, up, down, and you can get yourself 10 med spa clients within the same state, if not more, with a great offer, then you should be willing to do it for free for one or two med spas. These are examples. And where people fall flat on their face is they aren't willing to do that. And so somebody else's results will never yield your results. Always remember that. You're in a different location. You, are, you have a different personality and you need to find yourself in what you become good at will be what you are willing to do for free. You will act differently. You will, your speed to implementation will be different. Your actions will be different. Your words will be different. And so my advice for anybody who is starting a business is please just do the work for free for a couple of people or clients to prove to yourself this business will work. This business will work for that niche. I know how to, I can get my, I can get clients. And now I just want to build up my confidence. When players are on football teams and soccer teams, essentially their practice is the free work. The success in the games is their paid work. If you look at anything in the world, you need to practice. And if you believe that you could start an SMA business, that you could start a laundromat, that you could start anything in this world without practicing, you are wrong, completely dead wrong, and you need to stop listening to the people who say that you're not. That doesn't mean that there aren't templates you can use, scripts that you can use to speed up the process. But what people like me, like a coach or even in, uh, YouTube videos and people that are successful that I have a lot of respect for, what they can't replace is your actions 
toward that end goal and what you are willing to give up to achieve it. We, whoever you might want to consider as we, can give you an entire business plan. We can give you every template there is. But what we can't give you is your motivation to take the right actions towards the goals that you want and only you want. And especially, we can't force you to do what I'm telling you to do, which is in the beginning of any business, give your samples out for free. Costco does it. NFL players practice day in and day out, off season. That's their free work that they have to give. And I can go on and on about the amount of businesses that offer their work for free. Samples, it could be in any industry. Free car wash. Come and get a a tune-up on your car and we'll give you a free car wash. And you're like, wow, that car wash is amazing. I'm going to keep coming back for more. And by the way, this is a very big, and and always remember this when starting this business or any other business is that there is no such thing as saturation because 99% of people are not willing to practice before profiting. And so you must learn to practice on real people, on real clients, with real campaigns, and know that you will probably fall flat on your face. And if you're willing to do that over and over again, you are going to become an expert in what you're willing to do day in and day out. So the reason why people like me and other people in this industry and every industry is willing to give things away for free is because we know that two things must happen. You must be willing to fall flat on your face, and that's a very hard pill to swallow. And two, you're not going to be able to do it alone. You're going to need a community. And so therefore, I invite you to continue to watch my YouTube videos and like, subscribe, and comment. And tell me if you agree with what I'm saying or not. Make sure you turn the notifications on because I have one to two videos a week. And the next couple of them are going to be all about AI, ChatGPT, Upwork, and implementing all of this in your SMMA business. Hope this was insightful. See you on the next one.